hella writers. Yes. We can work independently. Yes. Stand up all night writing yes. amazing think pieces yes. to move our shit forward. Yes. And, and a bunch of people are doing that. So to say yes. everybody's fake woke, say there's everybody. a man who fucking did. I said the culture of it. Those people are real. So you're, so like, you're saying it's trendy. So you're yes. saying, so you're saying not a couple everybody. people. I, I, that's yeah. not, yes. He's, he's this one old shit trendy. is a trend. He's not saying, I get what you're saying. So was it a trend to put a million man mark? All that shit was a trend or, or, for some, or the buzz boy or the buzz boy or the buzz boy cast? What's the fucking point? For some people, yeah, some people are fake on everything, man. There's some people who are fake vegans, nigga. Who gives a fuck? That's a trend too. The why is the point? The why the fuck was on that? What the fuck does that matter? Because listen. That don't fucking matter. Little, a couple of motherfuckers here and there that's who not, might not know not, something. That shit couple. don't matter, it's my nigga. A, it's not a couple. And that's hella, dis, that's yeah. hella discredits hella people who are right. here putting in work, my no, nigga. No, and no. been putting in work for fucking hundreds of years, bro. Those people are real. Then what the, so why are focus on a couple of motherfuckers who ain't doing it Who right? make it's captions? Like, who cares? Yeah, like, who so, the fuck okay, cares about a couple of niggas on Twitter okay. with 68 followers? Let me ask you a who question. Who cares? Let me ask you a question. Why is that something to focus on? Let me ask you a question. 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 I mean, how much... Of that NFL boycott shit was real for black people. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. For some it is, for some it ain't. Some it is. I don't know. I that's what I'm saying. I just speak for niggas in this room. I just speak for niggas in this room. That's tough. That was real for me. That's, I'm, I'm not saying. Hey, hold on. Because you keep saying that shit, but you keep on bring up other. No, no, no. no I'm, 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 I'm only take shit for what I, what I know. Yes or no, on this fucking show, two weeks ago, did you say, Drew, you felt like you had an unhealthy relationship with football? Yes or fucking yes. no? So how many niggas you know love the football more than me? Love the 49ers more than me, nigga. None. And That's for a nigga fine. like me to cut that shit off, cold turkey, nigga. That's fine. These niggas is putting niggas is really dedicated and feel so a certain work. way. So you were. I'm not. The, and my point is, I'm not the only nigga who feels. I'm just right. one guy. Some people you think just one of me? I ain't that special on that shit. I'm not a bunch no, of listen, niggas who feel listen, like that, okay. bro. Let me explain this part to you. When 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 was that? Let, or I don't know the months, but let's just say January. You seen all this post? I'm boycotting. I ain't watching this shit. Fuck this. By February. It was go whatever my right, team. That is. always happens. People do that. That's what I'm saying. Like, but you. But, but I see a lot of people. Who yeah, there's some people who are not. You, you, you know, you know that. A bunch of niggas that fuck the NFL every I week. I see both. I see. I see both. Was Super Bowl numbers down? You think so? Super Bowl numbers were down. You think so? Everything, Everything was down. down. Okay. They were down. It was all down. We okay. we sent them in the group text. Okay. So what you mean? All right, man. So y'all don't think. So you didn't get them texts. So I did. I mean, so we talking about then? So you don't. So you don't think shit is trending. No, no everything. Like I said, like I said, be, that doesn't mean be, there's be, not be, a ton be, of like people said, be, be who, are fight, who are with right. the, who are with certain. Things. So what's your point? I, of course, of course, there's trending things. Everything, Lance. Of course, there's people that fashion right. changes every day. Food people eat changes. Yes. People change. Have a right, music let's get music let's get changes. Let's there's get a trend yes. where it trap drums is what you think. Is, what's the point? Everything's trendy, bro. Let's get started. So I don't get it. Let's get started. All right. Game four. Oh yeah, game four. Uh. Trev, Sherelle, Mahogany.1. I was about to say, is that the what name? What happened to Angel Face? Away? Angel, no, that was my name for you. That ain't for the whole thing. <laughs> that, oh, okay. that ain't for the media. Right. That ain't for the streets. It's private. That's only for me and Glasses Malone to call you. <laughs> <laughs> Bricks. Mahogany.1, I say it right? The dot mahogany one. Mahogany.1. The dot. Mahogany won. Yeah. So yeah, we here. What we talking about? What happened? Yeah, I, a few things happened this week. So first, I'm, I mean, first everybody's talking about is the uh, Childish Gambino shit. Childish Gambino video. <sighs> he's Donald Glover yes. now. That's you, Donald Glover. I heard. Is he? Is it, 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 <laughs> it? I mean, that he still calls himself or musically. Or earn. I don't know who that is. That at ATL? Yeah. Okay. Atlanta. When he when he makes music, he's Childish Gambino. Yeah, he's still childish, right? Yeah. 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 So what do, what do we think about what do we think about the video? Maybe let's 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 Sherelle, let's, let's, she, you know, first. What do you got? I saw you light up. I because saw you light up. I, no, I I really appreciated the video. Um, it just gave me chills. It made me feel good inside. It just everything. If you watch it and really break everything down, it's just a deep video. We haven't had anything like that in a very long time, so it made me feel so, really good. So what were like key points that were like key part that, that really stood out to me? Stood out like um well the white horse. Yeah. Uh I don't know what when I saw the white horse it automatically made me think of the Bible. Um, trials and tribulations, it was a white horse, a, a, I think it says something I forgot the the scripture, but it was something like death 
will be riding on a white horse during the trials and tribulations, and then a man um, committing suicide, and then people are still like going about, going about their business. I mean, he goes and shoot. Well, the first thing I saw was when he shot the dude. Yeah. That was execute the execution. crazy. Yeah, yeah. And it was a man talking about an attention grabber to start. A yeah. Like, as soon as you see that, you're like, okay, what the fuck's you're going on? You're like, wait, what's right. going on? And like, then remember, he shoots the choir. I'm control. Remember, like, remember, you were talking about, like with comedy, like there was comics that uh, when you're doing a, you're up there doing a set, and they'll make like a noise to kind of reset your attention. Right? Like, mm. like tap the mic or mm. hit the stool. I think that video was full of those. Yeah. Right? So before you can even like, you listen to him, and then somebody taps the mic hard. Right, and right. Oh shit, your attention is diverted and they kept you kept getting those right. and resetting your focus and your attention. But oh, Right. Yeah. Well then, like I said, he shot the choir up. And that then was, from there was I was kinda nervous. I was like, oh yeah, was shoot, what is yeah. he about to do? Then I like the kids were dancing, it goes up to some kids in the balcony, and I'm like, please, what are you about to do? <laughs> like I was kinda nervous, like I don't wanna watch, but I have to watch. It was one of those it was an attention grabber. Yeah. Better than a movie to me, yeah, you know? I, I think it was, you know, uh, you get generational talents. And, you know, I'm somebody who always feels talent should win uh, over everything. Above yes. all the stunts and the bullshit, and you get a lot of that. I've always been like that in show business, but you, I'm always, I have a utopian idea that talent should always win out. Right. And uh, he's, he's a generational talent. Like, right. you think about the old school, like, rap pack type motherfuckers mm -hmm. who can, you're, yeah, singing, right. Sammy Davis. Yeah. yeah. Act. You yeah. Get up there and do a set. You can. You're 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 your own variety show. Right, right, right D. You know Martin. Saying? Exactly. Yeah. Like you can get up there and do that. Like Donald Glover can actually could hold down an hour he show could. by himself and do like, all of it. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and um, so even the watching him dance, like, I didn't know he could dance. Yeah, right. Like, just, that this, was like, this nigga is really <laughs> good. Right. Like, that was the other dope thing about me was the dancing in it all because I, for me the first thing I thought about that was like yeah. Something big happens, but we still want to be entertained. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so shoot some shit up. Right. <laughs> Shit's going on. Yeah. But we still got to know the newest dance. Right. We still got to know the new shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what So it is. to me, that was like part of the most genius part of it all. It's like, through all this, you dancing through every story yep. here. You know yep. what I'm saying? I thought that was crazy. I got to watch it again. I watched it on the plane one time. Yeah. Because it was trending. Right. Yeah. And mm. I was like, what? Yeah, I woke up to it. So I was like watching it, but I'm like on a plane and I didn't sleep. So I watched it. I was like, oh yeah, that was cool. And yeah. then I got home and it was at like 30 million views. Right. Man, but I was like, yeah. but I never, because I, I, I kept seeing it like in small clips. So yeah, I, I didn't even really get to break it all down. Right. It, it was good. Though, like the, the music was good. And the yeah. song, the song alone, just stand alone is, yeah, is dope as shit. It was. It's fun. I mean, it's fun when, just, like I said, when there's something good, like. Like, everybody can agree like that shit is hot. Yeah. Yeah, hot. Like, you no, know, there's a couple people I've seen who try to be contrarian to it, but you, you are outlier. And you know, I think you might not think it's hot. Right. Because yeah. one of those things too, like it, it debut kind of late, so you had to be kind of up late to see it when yeah. it first came out. Because he was on SNL, and he also performed a record. I guess it's like on his new album or whatever. That record was hard. Man, it was it was off the wall vibes. Man, mm. and I, I I loved his last album. Like yeah. I thought that shit was like unbelievable. Like. Yeah. I love how it, like it just kind of pulled from all like the exactly. shit I like, like Parliament, Funkadelic, Sliding Family Stone, all that shit. Like, yeah. so I love this last album, so I'm super excited about hearing hearing the new shit. But yeah, um, that video is um, is how, is, how is, familiar are you with his work? Um, I heard his what, what was the well, I loved his last album, the the album, and then he had the um, what is that? Is it like? Some like well, Southern California city or some shit. Mal, uh, I forgot the name of it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh um, no, Kauai. No, it's Hawaii shit. Kauai, it's Kauai. Yeah. I like the Kauai shit, which is real dope. Which is I don't know if he calls it an album or a mixtape. Like you watch Atlanta. I don't watch Atlanta, but I listen to it. You watch like Community. No. Oh, that was my show. No, or have you seen his stand up? No, I never saw any of it. I never saw any of his um of his um like TV stuff acting. So for me, it's mostly just the music. I mean, even the facial expressions that he was making in the beginning when he started dancing, and then yeah. right before he, you know, yeah. assassinated the guy. Mm. He looked regular. I don't yeah, know. I mean, it wasn't body. like ooh, Donna. There was, there was, I saw an article in the New York Times uh, um, saying like now using that video as an example. If there's a a shift in what's traditional beauty for men and women. 
Right. So like now Donald Glover, somebody like him could be a sex symbol. You don't have, have to be as like He a, is a sex symbol. Yeah, you got to get on first, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to get on it, first. You can well, turn a woman on still, by doing nah, certain but, little well, things. Well, well, I mean, Paul said as far as being on, how much more on do you have to be? That's what I mean. If he's just walking down the street, he's not a sex symbol. But when yeah, he dances, right. when he does certain yeah. little moves, and but, when but he you know touches into a mean, different men and women, but I think, part of your I brain, think women are, even more than men <laughs> Shut up. are really attracted to intelligence and talent. Exactly. Yeah. And he's very talented. So. And, I, and I think right now, too, natural is a big right. thing. Yeah. Uh, like I know, like, women, like, wear their hair natural, and, mm-hmm. or even how, like, Kendrick, when, you know, humble somebody, I want to see, you know, yeah. uh, stress, marks. stress marks, all that. J. Cole. Cole, like, mm-hmm. But the natural. thing about it is, you know, the, the, so, you know, after the, you because know, so, a wolf video, then the pictures come out with him and his, yeah. him and his, is that his wife? Is, I think it's his wife. Baby mom is girl, she's, oh, she's white. Yeah, 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 it's just a white lady. So he made it. Apparently. <laughs> so, <laughs> then, yeah. so then I saw certain things about you did, baby. I saw certain things about, uh, like, okay, relax on how woke this nigga is. He got a white woman. Right. And you that was like, that was my thing. Um, I got a couple of people calling me like, how did you, did you like the video, you know? And I'm like, yeah, I love it. But you know you married to a white girl, right? And this is women, of course. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. You know, I do know that. So that oh, was one thing that I wanted to ask you guys. Can you be woke? And date outside of your race, yeah, like that, is that? I think that's the only. Can way you be woke? Well? That's <laughs> a great topic. Matter, matter of fact, what? by the way, Jay, Jay's our. our, our <laughs> Got to keep time for us because we can we can go off forever. You, man. This is a good subject. So, <laughs> Jay, you, no other when we're like woke. five minutes, I, let us know I, something. I, I kind of want to know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're here for that. No, no, no. no, no, no I want to hear that. It's, you know, if you, if you ain't got your white girl, you sleep. <laughs> Well, I mean, you gonna to, get cut in a second. To, to go on back, but this is the thing, though. Like, so if you go back in history, right? How, okay, how many more motherfuckers is more woke than Frederick Douglass? Mm. You're not gonna beat Frederick Douglass on the woke scale. You have a white wife. Mm, mm, right. mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if that's what's going on, well, like, well, he had like I think he had a few wives. He did. He, did. he, he like, had a couple black. But his whole that's how it always is, though. Game, but his whole wife, though. But his whole wife was part of the movie. He was woke his whole life, regardless of how many right. wives he had. Right. So. Through that process, he married a white woman. Like so, you know, like, like even right now, contemporary, like Van Jones, like who, uh, you know, somebody yeah, who you know, yeah. fights, you know, he's with Rock Nation, a white wife. Dave Chappelle was great commentary. His wife's Asian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but we had several white wives. Um, <laughs> he did. So, so, <laughs> but the Asian, I think we, as black <laughs> women, we don't, we like, okay, they Asian all got it, you know, you know? but it's like when it comes to a white woman, so does it it's take very away different. The wokeness? Is he still as woke as he was? <sighs> what is woke? That's I think the first question. Mm, just embracing your blackness, um, being aware of what's going on with us um and see and that's the thing is like for me i think i'm pretty woke um I'm, and that's the part that i'm i but no 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 like i kind of feel like now now i probably would you right. know being the age that i am now no, <clears throat> because I do love, I I absolutely love black men. I just think black men are just the most beautiful thing in the world. You know, I just, it, it's. You just don't want us. No, I do. I do. But you guys don't act right. And you guys don't, a lot of you guys mm-hmm. don't so treat us shit. right. Okay. You sound like a white person. Okay. <laughs> well, white women love y'all. So, I mean, it's a lot of competition. I would like to date y'all, but y'all ain't shit. No, so. I'm not saying that either, though. I, I hope I can find a black man that is as woke as I am. Who, There's three of them right here. I'm gonna go, you know, well, but you guys, what am I going to do with y'all? I can't saying, do nothing with y'all. I'm just saying, as far as like, <laughs> oh, don't speak for them. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas who, like, that's my thing. Well, now I'll get to that later. But, you know, who are good men who respect black women, love black women, 
or woke with all that. Like so, right. well, I've come across a couple of. Well, I've, I've dated a, a couple time, of men. Black women should start dating more racists. I've been. I felt that way for a long time. Well, I mean, it's not. I well, don't one, think there's, there's anything wrong with that. One, there's a disproportion. This is just numbers of educated black women compared to black men right now. Mm-hmm. It's it's very it's very uh, disproportionate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that, that's fact. So oftentimes when you're dating somebody, you want to date somebody who is like minded. Right. And, and, exactly. and, and, and economically somewhere in the same, you know what I'm saying? Same stratosphere. So um, I do think that black women should exercise that more. I said that and we, uh, I think that if I do find a white man, that is that I'm attracted to and everything. I I just like Bernie Sanders. Who's that? No, <laughs> Bernie Sanders. He's woke as fuck. No, I would. He about to be slim. He's old, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm gonna put the time on it. You know, like I'm attracted to white men that look like Johnny Depp and Jared Leto. Everybody right. is. That's what Chris Johnny Depp. Exactly, but that's that's, that's my Robert requirements. Like, you know, y'all like, y'all like I can't find. Them. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> I can't find. It's fact. <laughs> like that. So yeah. back to niggas, I guess. Yeah. No, but <laughs> no, but I literally dated a black guy, and you know, I'm a little militant when it comes to certain things. And I was having a conversation about Malcolm X, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm attracted to Malcolm X. It's something about him. I like. It's, I think it's the intelligence and just My I'm attracted to him. A lot for it women. does." For and the guy said, I oh, he's my to fuck Malcolm X. Go ahead. <laughs> huh? No, just fuck him by any means necessary. Go, go ahead. <laughs> but anyway, so the guy was like, ew, you're attracted to Malcolm X. Like, what? Didn't he have all these kids by different... And it just turned me totally off and I had to end the date because didn't, you didn't even didn't know, know anything like, about yeah, Malcolm yeah, X, yeah, which yeah. turned me all the way off. And he's like, well, you're not attracted to Martin Luther King? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not physically attracted to him. I'm sorry. That was funny. Yeah, I'm not. But you know, See, I don't know. But it, Martin had white women. <laughs> he <laughs> had bald guys <laughs> women. He was funny, like you wouldn't have made them. I mean, so did Malcolm though before he was Malcolm X. I, you know, I, I, he became brother minister. <laughs> right. Oh, we established his sex here. We gotta give him a brother. Yeah. We gotta give him a brother. You said about who's sexier? Yeah. Who, who's sexier? Oh, <laughs> oh, Mal- yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Martin so what? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, 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 so the move a whole different lane. Uh, have y'all ever had a viral moment? On this <laughs> I on, have. Uh, on, uh, social <laughs> but, media. Oh, you but got, you, you just did. No, I've I'm never. Sure, I've never came sure. close to viral. I, I, but I've never. But I'm not. Uh, most viral things you're gonna have to do on Twitter, right? I have one on Facebook. I mean, unless you're like doing. I mean, like you can, a tweet. It can go anywhere. Facebook, not. I like. Yeah, it's trash on Facebook. I gotta like do a video or something. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, no. No, no but, well, Lance, Lance, you had like. Yeah, Lance had some. Lance yeah. Had some great moments. I had, I had uh, I met on World Star a couple times. What? I wasn't in no fights either. This video. Oh. You didn't you get snuffed. Your girl was going to show him along. <laughs> nah, I had some few videos go viral. Matter of fact, I just got saw on Facebook in my memories that one where you had your EBT card and shit when you was on did the TMZ. That was really oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. So, I don't know how viral that one went, but that yes. was funny as shit. That was a party. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that should have went huge. I'm not sure how big numbers that one did. That was I great. Some of your it's weird how that shit works because to me, some of your best ones. Or some of the ones that didn't go nowhere near as far as some of the ones well, that it's, it's all about. It's a science. Like I, I get the science now. That's why I don't be doing that shit because I don't be feeling like doing it. I just I understand the science of it. A lot of that shit is just about what people are talking about, yeah. what's trending. That's why. Yeah. That's why I be knowing like what's trending and shit. Like you motherfuckers don't. All right. That's I literally get in front of my phone and say a bunch of stupid shit. Don't give up the sauce though. Man. Because I know that um she's not black. Um. <laughs> um. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's no, just 13 percent african okay she well, that's, that's a good time. oh 13 oh, you know t- oh you know oh, for people i'm 100 we're 12 percent white we're you 80, want an ancestry we're 87 percent black and then we're one percent native american what, so we're, what, we're black does it say what part of our <laughs> is it, does it say yeah what, you know what's crazy a lot of the, a lot of the stuff from us is not from like the slave western coast state uh western so we're countries yeah a lot of it mm. I, I got the whole shit i'll screenshot it to you lit i forgot though but no so you went I had like what happened well not no but that's the thing though like it wasn't even 
Because some niggas get like 50,000 retweets. My shit wasn't even like that. Like, but it was, a, I can imagine how annoying that shit would be. Cause my, I was annoyed with my phone for like two days. Your alerts were just going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? So, so what was it? So, um, I tweeted about Ray Shumman's album. Yeah, you so, thought 27 songs were short. So, no, that's not what I said. I said they could have been worse. Um, and I, I was like, I felt like, I will get into that part after. But it was about that, about the album. And so I didn't think nothing of it. Like, I woke up in the morning, nigga, my phone was like, my, like, so you, so you can you keep your alarms going. on? I, I was sleep. I woke up. No, 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 no. I'm I, saying. No, I, didn't, I, I, tried to, I didn't realize my shit never did that before. So I didn't even think to turn off. Yeah. I'm saying normally. Like, if somebody sends you a tweet, it alerts your phone? Yeah, on Twitter, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Well, yeah, on Twitter, yeah. Like, if I get like like or retweet. And but even that, besides that, though, even when I'm on Twitter, though, like, my notifications are still yeah. on. Um, Cause I tweeted about that. And I'm like, what? Why is this shit doing this? This is hella stupid. Like, <laughs> so now I realize Sway Lee retweeted it, but it was weird because wow. I'm like, I didn't even at the nigga. You didn't like, add him, like, so you know, a lot of that's the thing too. We talking about this couple weeks ago. That's about like people seeing shit. Like, I don't. I've had a lot of celebrities tweet me or retweet me over the years. A lot. That's never happened though. Shit was super weird, and. um I don't know, she was annoying. If I can't, I've been thinking like, so like when Beyonce posted a picture, she would get like 2 million likes. They got would, a way to make that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Shit you know crazy. what I'm saying? Like, you even, don't even, you don't notify your phone. That shit is insane. No, like, but I'm just talking about just how like. The yeah, even that wouldn't work for her though. Yeah. Then you have, like, so when you, when you're on Instagram. I would like to know how it looks because. When you're on Instagram, they stop at 100. So if you open your phone, the most will show you is 100. Mm-hmm. So it'll say 100, 100, 100. That could be anywhere from a hundred to right to infinity yeah. or whatever. It's all stupid. Yeah. But like, um, like uh, I know when I did that video about Demarcus Cousins getting traded, and he's seen it, mm-hmm. and uh, we actually that's maybe why we like kind of cool now because we talking about the video. Like, he had seen it, and I was like, oh yeah, it was you. That's funny, man. Seeing some shows, or whatever. But uh, when that should be happening, you don't understand. You just be, I know for me, I'd be in a car. And I just say some stupid shit. Like, I'm sitting right here. I say something. Right. Not knowing who's all going to see this video. Right. The internet is a very weird, yeah. dangerous tool, yeah, man. Scary. Like, you just say shit and it just go out. Yeah. And you don't know so, where it's so, going. You don't know how it's going to get into people's and hands and all kinds of stuff. And then all of a sudden, all of these strangers feel like they know you and right. this person seen it. And then niggas in your mentions, you don't know. So I'm like looking and niggas is tripping like, <laughs> the fuck? Who the fuck is this nigga? Like, we, it was crazy too because we're very sure they have, you know, they're young, so they have a lot of young fans. So I'm like, who the fuck is this kid? Right. Like, <laughs> like it was, it was weird. <laughs> but I was saying too, like with the album, I think the album. Have y'all heard it? Yeah. So I haven't heard. Uh, I, I I've heard the whole group album, and I heard most of Sway Lee's. I haven't heard uh, yeah. Jimmy's yet though. But so far, what I like, so far what I what I heard, I like a lot, man. I think they, it's they they're one of the few young. Artists that are like kind of an easy listen because the yeah. people always talk about like I, I you you said this numerous times people always talk about shit that's melodic yeah. that shit actually is kind of has a nice yeah. m- nice cool it's melody ring. to it so yeah. that bullshit that shit yeah. that's Most my shakes. boy though we got the same birthday that's my birthday twin yeah I think uh, yeah like I said like <laughs> they um they're to me they're good at what other they think other niggas are good at like Sway Lee shit that nigga that shit's real wait so, what I was saying on the like tweet Swaley. though I was like um. Because it's, it's 27 songs, obviously, it's more than a normal record, but they can have the three albums. When you look at most double discs, right, there's a lot of double albums. Mm-hmm. You use between 24, 28 songs on it. Right. Some of, like, Speaker Buzz Love Alone has 40. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, so it's just, it's a, it ranges. Right. So I'm looking at, like, where if there's three discs with 27, the way they make music, they Swaley has way more than nine songs to put to put on the album. Right. I felt like if he was really just trying to just put shit out, he could have made a 15, 16, 17 songs on air on each one. Right. Like, you so know, to me to cut down the nine, I feel like no, nah, he really put these are the nine best records. Also, too, I feel like it was best for them because uh, uh, Nessa on the Hot 97 interviewed them. No, what was it? No, this is a record club interview. Oh yeah. And they were saying how people always trying to break them up. Mm-hmm. Right. And Jimmy. The, right. And the way they did it was good because it, everybody eats. Right. So 
You don't have to worry about displaycation comes out. Right. Oh, well, then he got it. Right. Nah, you're going to get displaycation. You'll get Jim Trow and you'll also get the, um, the album. So there, there was more science behind what I was saying. Well, obviously, I know it's 27 songs, but when you break it down to, then it's like 18 songs each, yeah. which is doable. First of all, I think, I think them niggas are great. I think Sway Lee is one of the He's five talented. best rap artists out. Not necessarily just lyrically, but just making songs. Nobody, not too many niggas can fuck with him to me. Didn't he do something? Uh, was it Beyonce? Was he did it formation? Formation, yeah. yeah like, I, I think I, for me, once and I feel once like a record it. gets past like fifteen, it's hard for me to consume. Mm. It's too much to take in. Yeah. I, I, there's only a few albums that I really love that are long. Like most yeah. of it is like I agree. We got to get to the point, like because it's almost impossible. Like because the ones I like are like all time great albums. That's why. Like, yeah. On the shortest of short list, because. Inevitably, there's going to be, even if their songs are good, there's going to be, not, you know, if there's 18 songs, there's going to be five I don't want to hear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's the song isn't necessarily bad. So, What's your favorite album that you can just listen to with no skips? I'm American Beauty by the Grateful Dead off the top of my head. Mm. Um, yeah, off the top of my head, that's number one. That's, there's nothing that's worse. There's nothing that'll be skipped. Mm. But there's a lot more, but that's probably number one. Right. Okay. How many songs is that? Ten. What about you? Never heard it. What's that? What about you? Uh, for an album? Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of albums like that. I like Purple Rain. Okay. I like Doggy Style. That's mine. Chronic. <laughs> Doggy Style. Chronic 2001. Right. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Rap Watch for me, probably my favorite. If I, man, Ready, ready to Die. All Eyes ready on to me. Die. Me against the world. Yeah. You? Um, Spring clientele. Uh, Cuban links. Yo, Maddox always uh, an easy one to name because it's short and perfect. Right. So Maddox always there. Reasonable uh, doubt. Off the wall. Burn. Uh, burning. Bob uh, yeah. Marley. Oh, yeah, off the walls for me. Top yeah. five. Mm -hmm. like, oh. right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Like, off the walls, top five. Though, like I have, I have a top five favorite albums, and I have four that never change. Off the wall, mm -hmm. Exile on Main Street by the Rolling Stones, okay. Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys, American Beauty by Jay Cortez, mm. and then Fit changes. It'll it might be some rap shit, right? It might be Parliament or something, but those four are always in the top five. Oh, Parliament. So, mm -hmm. Oh, right, Mothership Connection. That's what I'm, oh, another the short album. What short, are you laughing at? <laughs> George Clinton. I, I listen to George. I didn't say you did. Dang. But she said like you, like you offered the sweet potato pie. She didn't really um. She was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> because. <laughs> he said he's retiring. This is last year performance. You get on my nerves. You know what? Then I, I, I hate George I missed Clinton? that yeah. because they were, you know, they were at Ace of Spades like oh. maybe like six months ago. I but I had it. a bunch of. That was when I had a whole bunch of concerts lined up, and it was yeah. on like a Tuesday, and it was during a busy time at work, and I just didn't go. So it was a, it was somewhere between October and December of this past year, and I didn't go just because somebody, I had somebody told me Kendrick wasn't open tonight. Is right. that tonight? They're on tour. Yeah, they're on two TDs on tour. I don't know if that's that's tonight. That was tonight and tomorrow. That seems like bad timing to be in Oakland the same day as the game. No, because it's at Oracle, so it's not tonight. It's at Oracle. They have Oracle. Yeah, because my company has so tickets. Tomorrow. Oh, then maybe not tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow then. I was, I was at Ace of Spades. I want to go see the Whalers. Oh, yeah, that looked dope. My head, I didn't even show up to that. Couple of the original Whalers. I really want to see uh, Family Man. That's my guy. Yeah, he went to the But he didn't perform. Uh, that shit was dope. Because the lead singer was super ill. Like, he, you have to get the Bob Marley spirit mm -hmm. best you can, but you don't want to overdo it and be corny. Yeah. So I think he found the perfect right. space uh, to be Bob. And uh, Donald King is an incredible guitarist. Like, he's one of Bob's. Uh, he was actually right there when Bob got shot. He was one of the oh, people wow. in the kitchen with Bob when Bob got shot. Um, he was he killed that shit. That nigga was super. Yeah, I was about to say he killed Bob. Your mouth was open. That shit was just on a <laughs> Sunday, and I was like, "Yeah, it was on the gun. That's okay. Couldn't stick though. I, yeah, it was on a Sunday. I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, I want to go, but." Can't go out on Sundays. I gotta, I gotta get up early. I, I work at five. See, but see, I knew like, if I, like, I can't. Come home. Get you I, two hours of sleep. I'm not 24. I can't go day. places and then go to work the next day. So I know I'm going yeah, out. I'm going to the so show. You, yeah. I, I, when I bought the tickets, oh, I, I, I took vacation. I'm yeah. going to work the next day. Right. So th I think that's yeah, another. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, I can't fuck around. That shit over. Right. So that's I'm another old. dope question, though. So what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the dopest show you guys have been to? Like, like if you have to like say this was the, my favorite 
maybe two or three shows. Concert? Concert. That's hilarious. Oh. Mine was crisscross. <laughs> Jump, so was that jump. first? Was that your that first one? That was my one? first concert. You know so. what's funny? I, bet, I think that's the one. I'm sure it's the only, probably the one. But my wife went to that concert. That shit was weird too. I <laughs> she can imagine. Yeah, I can was, imagine like a yeah, Bow Wow well concert, like screen tour type shit. Yeah. So, I mean, crisscross the same kind of thing. Mary J. Blige <laughs> was there too. So I got to see Mary oh, crisscross. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Wear, like, uh, like school, like or my, my mother-in-law dressed her like, <laughs> I had to go to a Christmas. She's she like, wore a baggy shirt. I know. Yeah, what did she have on? She had socks on and shit. I had cross colors on. <laughs> That's right. That's you should have been wearing that back then. But she had to wear some ill shit. She had an eagle starter or some shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The news is fresh. I yeah, also no. went to the um, Chronic 2001 and mm-hmm. Hard Knock Life tour. So oh, you were at the Hard Knock Life? No, I didn't smoke. I, I wasn't. I didn't smoke back then. One of the dumbest concerts ever. We snuck into. Hmm? Shout out to Darren and no. Weezy. You know, we snuck into. I was uh, always a Snoop Dogg fan. Fifty Cent and snuck into Fifty no. Cent, Eminem, Lil Jon, yeah. over at the Sleep Training Amphitheater. Yeah. I turned around. There was Lil five John. of us. I turned around. They were all snuck in a different way. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck that! I am not about to pay fifty and all these niggas snuck in." Yeah. And I was on the phone with my boy. He's like, "Bro, just stay on the phone with me right now. Yeah. And just walk in that motherfucker like you own it." Yeah. And I'm like, "So I walk in. I'm hella big. I don't get away with shit like that." Or- so I'm just walking in. I slide in and I'm like, dog, are they following me? Are they following me? He's like, you scary motherfucker. You good, man. Just keep walking. (laughs) (laughs) But that's the thing. That's where it helps, though, because I'm sure you got this. Like, being big, people think you somebody. Right. Yeah. Football player. I bet the the airport. Or you're too big to address. Right. One of the two. I bet the airport. People always think I'm somebody. That happens to me all the time. Nah, I'm like. Who do they think you are? Hella big. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they be thinking I'm like, if I was big, I'd have some legs <laughs> facing this fucking <laughs> yeah. southwest flight right now. Yeah. Yeah. Who do they think you are? Who do they think I am? All you gotta do is keep walking. All you For do real. Is they always think it's black like men are somebody. It's like assuming the sale. You gotta just act like you belong in that yeah, market. I heard in walking. Brazil they always think black men are like football players. When I was in Japan, I thought I was Chris Tucker. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Out of everybody, thought she was Chris Tucker. It was Rush Hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, during that time? No, it wasn't. It was this was in 2012. Yes. Maybe, but well, I mean, is Jackie Chan Japanese? I don't know. They just <laughs> thought. <He is. laughs> to me? <laughs> <laughs> to me, that nigga's Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, some Japanese people might be offended by that. But I don't think he's Japanese. I mean, is right. First of all, Chan's not Japanese. Right? Chan is Chinese. Yeah. Chinese yeah. Chinese. That's what I say. Chinese. <laughs> all them niggas Chinese. Though, <laughs> Japanese, Every last one of them niggas is yeah. Chinese. Yeah, he's bro. From Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong, Japan, China. It's all Chinese. Bro. Korea, all the <laughs> Korea. The niggas is all Chinese, man. I don't fuck what you say. You know what blew Chinese. my mind is when. This was years ago. I've known this for years. This is when somebody, I didn't know India was Asia. I remember mm. when I first learned that, I was fucking blew my mind. Yeah. Well, people, I remember when I learned people that. call it a subcontinent. Right, but it, 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 India is. This is a geography Asia. portion mm-hmm. of the show. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was, that was great. <laughs> so them niggas ain't Chinese. <laughs> no. But them other niggas is Chinese. Like, if they got the, if they wear the, the, uh, the turban and shit, yeah. they're not Chinese. I don't give a fuck what part of India they What are you, what? You said India. India. Oh, shit. Huh? It's, a, it's part oh. of Asia. Asia, yeah. They not Chinese. But the mother niggas. Yeah, beat your ass. They all Chinese. The mother niggas. Mongolia. All <laughs> Chinese, bro. Before what about Pacific Islander, like Filipinos? Nah, they Filipino. Them is black people. Yeah, they're, they're, they're black. Filipinos are black people. <laughs> they Filipinos got black people. Filipinos is black. But that's what Issa Rae was saying in her book, right? She said something like, Vietnamese are the black people of Asians or something. They Filipinos. are. Filipinos. 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 She, she said Filipino. Vietnamese. She's a she one of the two. Yeah. Filipino. Filipinos okay. are black people. I'm saying, nigga, go talk to some Filipinos. These niggas are black. They drink Hennessy. They late. <laughs> they drink. Mons be drinking Hennessy, hella Hennessy too. They black my, too. The my mother is Chinese. Yeah, right? I'm like Hennessy. <laughs> You know, Chinese are the ones who stay at home till they're 36. Like, them yeah, Chinese. they be they they lucky. They go buy a mat. Them is all they Chinese. They are people. lucky. I wish we could do but, that. But questions uh, to everybody else, though. So, did y'all, did y'all, did y'all, did y'all, did y'all, y'all saw the pictures and everything uh, from the Met Gala? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that shit looked the black. So, so, here, like, I was telling Yana. you this in, in a text today. How do you feel about this? I feel like the men shouldn't be dressed up 
I feel like the men should wear tuxedos and it should highlight the women. Like, so when I saw but niggas in Matt all kind of canary colors, I'm like, oh, I thought that's what the women do. And you but this is their excuse to be able to go all out. That's what I think. That's what I thought. That's what I, thought. I think it's for the women. Yeah. Only yeah. men, like, the men shouldn't have the fucking flamingo shit on. The women should have it on. You know, like but that's how they that dress way. nowadays, anyway. That shit was fresh. That's facts. <laughs> no, not that. That's how they dress. That's facts. He was he was in white, right? Yeah, yeah. But with the crosses. With the crosses, mm-hmm. the cape and shit. That shit was hard. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I wouldn't I was, wear that. Man. That shit was hard. I think the first. I, I thought women. I thought woman wise. I thought J Lo looked fucking great. Hope that he had on one glove. Yeah, yeah one glove with rings on. That mm-hmm. one. He looked like. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> that was interesting. His style oh, and King Combs. This shit was kind of. I'm saying, but he dressed like me. Though. I know he was his was yeah. long because he had the crown and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah I guess because every year at the Met Gala, it's like a theme. So I guess the right. like the theme was religion. Yeah, and it was shit, like, I'm right. Put two and two together. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that shit is live. Now I think was one that thing the theme was religion. Yeah, Look, it, yeah, it was like so a lot of the women had like that's why Rihanna had like the pope hat. Yeah, and, like, mm-hmm. a lot of people. Like, I didn't like Rihanna was, shit. I thought what? Rihanna, that shit was wrong. See, I thought I thought that people loved Rihanna's because Rihanna, Rihanna's one of those people who can't. If it ain't cool, then it's cool because she got it on. Right. And that's kind of what I felt about that because I didn't think that shit was dope. I got a oh, that was so tight. Yeah, I but, thought it was so. I, I, get, I mean, I get it. Fashion. It was one way or the other. You know what I'm I saying? didn't really care for Cardi B's because I, I felt like I already I seen it on Beyonce. I didn't, I didn't see all these pictures. I think Cardi was the best. I, see, thought I just thought I've already seen Cardi. that. I'm like, damn, J-Lo half a hundred out here killing y'all. Yeah, J-Lo yeah she's, crazy. she's gorgeous. Cardi was out. Crazy. She's still with A-Rod? Yeah, A-Rod was there. Mm-hmm. A-Rod. Brady was there with Giselle. Uh, Two oh, Chains proposed that. to his. Yeah. Oh yeah, girlfriend. yeah. Somebody said he fucked up. Somebody had to do something big. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably, probably. That's probably what happened. I, I think that shit is ill, man. I think like I see people. Some people saying like some of the the guys like Michael B. Jordan were too subdued. Like they should have did a little more. Yeah. Um, oh, did you see Dude Homeboy from Get Out? No. Nah. They say he looked like a church usher. They say he took it too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like a church usher. Oh, somebody said Wiz Khalifa looked like a blunt. <laughs> I didn't see which. I didn't see it. His suit was like a color of a blunt. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy how all this shit now, now, like anything that was supposed to be like big and ritzy, and that shit ain't popping unless hip hop. That's what right. I mean, that's what was mm. gonna be like we. That's still how we, because I, I don't know everything about the Met Gala, but I know like I know it wasn't originally for niggas. Nah, it wasn't for us. Right. Winter right. Started it. The old white lady. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't so, but, but now like, just like, like golf, said, like, you can't. Have that shit. How out. weak would that have been when like, there's no niggas there? Like, like it's ill. Like even like Lance's boy Virgil. Virgil was there. Like he wore the off white. I know I did. Uh, Virgil was there. He had the off white uh, Carolina ones. She was fucked. And then everybody was big. That you know that I guess Beyonce like she was gonna go in and she didn't even go in there. Jake on vacation or some shit. Like that. Yeah, she don't have to do it. Yeah, everybody, right. everybody wants to see what you know. Like she's the biggest star. Yeah. In so the then world. we go to Rihanna. Yeah, okay. so, next best thing. I mean, so it's like this shit doesn't matter. Like this is weak without the hip hop culture. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think no, so. Drake's outfit. Go somebody who I was, wasn't a rapper again. Facts. <laughs> <Back. laughs> uh, somebody. Who, well, that's my next point. It's funny that LeBron's never been in a mega out. He's always playing. He always playing, right? Mm. Chess Prince Williams one of the greatest. <laughs> great. He's never really available to go. And I know like that's somebody who would be a step. Like Brady's always there. Brady's always there. LeBron would be somebody who would be there. Like I think, um, I don't know, man. Like I was thinking, like, and then I was thinking, black people should start some shit like that. Yeah, that should be hard. Because uh, uh, everything, nothing fucking matters unless we do it. But we just be joining them. Like yeah. that's the shit where we. You be looking like, okay, so this Met Gala's popping because hip hop's here. Another. So why don't we just do some shit like that and these motherfuckers will just be hoping to get in and join us? Because they, um, I think it's just like the hip hop awards, right, the source awards or whatever. And see, but People it, don't take them seriously. It's crazy because it seems like such an easy twist. Like all these niggas get together okay. and be like, nah, we're doing the BET Awards. Yeah. We're doing Soul Train. Or like BET this is what awards, that is to yeah. us. Yeah. This is. Well, I mean, if, 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 if we decide to go to the Grammys, if this shit decide. happens, man, Game Four started. We've been saying this for. I mean, it's years. common sense. Yeah. Niggas show up to the black shit. Yeah, yeah. but a lot of black people want to be validated but by some, white people. Right I mean, because, yeah, right. I mean, that's just, just what it is. Vogue, right, she's Vogue. Right, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So Vogue is something that's. Go ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it was funny too. Like something that also that black people normally don't go to. Something I fuck with heavy is horse racing. It was dope because I always oh. thought like. 
I'm surprised like Jay and niggas like that don't be at the derby. But it was Joseph Puff was there. Puff was of course. And I saw Puff like Puff. And I was figuring like, that's a puffy thing. A dream though. of mine would be have, to have a horse in the derby. But I still like I wouldn't want I wouldn't conform. Like that's why I love how the Migos went to the Met Gala. Go there and also got a big ass trap house medallion on. We <laughs> got the honcho rings. Like be us. Like we don't have to right. settle. We don't. If I was at the Derby without a horse and I'm wearing a big ass chain, bro, I'm about to be in there trying right. to fit in with Bob Baffert. Like yeah. I'm doing what I would do in this situation. I just happen to love both of these things, mm-hmm. and I love that dynamic. Like so, it is kind. It is. We should absolutely have our shit and do what we do. But it also is a there is a dopeness to us infiltrating that Facts. shit. Like we can infiltrate it. Yeah, we can. And like then, two chains. Like that happens. Is a nigga who only raps about cocaine Trap. and, and <laughs> Benny Hanna Rice. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that shit is ill. Like so to be in there and just do like and to know this shit is not even cracking without you. Yeah. Like this shit is not it is nothing. Oh, yeah. So it's like a party. Like parties. Like man, nah. We should just have our own fucking med gala and. How about, like, because everything, you know, I was even tripping off, like, there was this dude in a truck, he had, like, a hell of stickers, American flags, make America great again type shit. And I was like, I bet you I don't even have to look at this person hard before you see something that he's doing because of black people. Mm-hmm. This nigga's in his car with yeah. a backwards hat on. Yeah. I'm like, y'all can't, it doesn't matter how much yeah. you don't fuck with none of this, how much you think you don't fuck we with shit, you can't somehow. escape us. Yeah. You well, copy well, something. But well, to your point, let me get this off real quick before I forget it. I meant to say this a while ago. I tweeted this time, I, I, we gotta stop doing this shit. I don't like when people try to make, I don't like when people use Trumpisms and we try to make it all way. Stop doing that. So I see people saying like make America trap again or make sneakers great again oh, or, yeah. or, or even saying fake news. To me that's an easy like, that's like, an easy Is because, that like all lives matter? Well no, but just <laughs> to the point, but it's to the point how we're saying like we influence the culture. Right. So even acknowledging Trump's punk ass shit and trying to flip it on our own way is putting too much power. We have too much power. Stop making something great again and putting our shit on. That shit is trash. Make America great again is for those motherfuckers. Let them have the whole red hat. And that Trump having that Kanye have it, we don't need that. Like we come up with ill shit all the time, like Game Four has. Like we don't need to make nothing great again, nigga. Because we already got to stop giving light to that shit. Stop saying fake news, all that. But go ahead. I agree with that. I, that no, shit's trash, that. bro. I, I that shit out here, man. That shit sucks. You giving, we go. We have too much influence. So that means well, we lightweight co-signing some shit. Get that shit out of here. So right. that. I never thought of that, but I think that's true. That makes me want to ask another question that, you know, um, is it okay for rappers to use nigga mm-hmm. at concerts and let white kids use it as well? Is it okay for white rappers to use the word nigga because they've been so heavily influenced by the culture and... Well, we were at the Kanye West concert in Vegas and we were sitting behind... Um, we were having a real good conversation with me and my wife and then the friends we were with. They were like two 16-year-old girls from South Dakota. Their mom <laughs> dropped them off at the concert. Oh, gosh. They were like, we want to go see Kanye. Right. Closest was seeing him in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? 16-year-old girls, South Dakota. Mom drops them off. And now they're in Vegas and their mom's shopping somewhere oh, in Vegas goodness. while they're at the Kanye concert. And they're just sitting there. They know the words. I'm, they know the words. The whole shit. Yeah. But <laughs> they were saying the word nigga. So it was wild. Aye. But... I, I I mean I purposely was like I'm because I'm very this is South Dakota like, right. this is some other shit yeah. this ain't even like a Sacramento I want to know how you guys received this music yeah. you know what I'm saying and yeah. received this atmosphere when they did it I did, I can't even pretend like I felt offended I feel like we are because I think in that stand in that now should they say that, I would probably say not but if they did what I'm saying is what it just goes back to being such a mimicked culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I got out of that. There was no malice towards it, whether they should have said it or not, which I think they, right. they should have. There was no mm-hmm. malice. You're just obsessed with this fucking. To, to, yeah. to your point, like I remember Scott. I was on the radio one day, and Scott Van Pelt, and ESPN say, you know, he used to hoop. Uh, I think it was he was in the DMV area, uh, part of the country, and he used to hoop. And obviously, when you hoop and dress in that area, <laughs> it's all niggas. Right. And he said, you know, the black. Guys would call him a nigga. And he said he used to feel happy about that shit. Like, damn, yeah. I feel like I'm cool. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm a nigga. Like, like this lit. is us. Yeah, like, so So to your point, it is, they, it, it's, we use a term of endearment and, like, mm-hmm. it's something within our culture. But also, too, like, if you are a white person who's not racist or. No whatever, such thing. Right, well, so that's our kind of whole, like, not your, well, you're not racist. I'm just talking, supposed right. to get into. But right. 
you're gonna like, oh, that shit is cool. Like, I get to be part of something. Like, part of, I'm sure like Eminem when he was um, you're in the cool club. Was Eminem was at the oh no, the show so that was in, in a mile, but the one in real life, St. Andrews, I think it was called, whatever it's called in Detroit. And they used to call Eminem where shit needs for like, damn, like I'm included. Like, I, I feel like, but that's what I'm saying. If a person like Eminem doesn't say it, if Paul Wall doesn't say it, right, you should know better. Right. I'm sure Chris Webber called Jason Williams a nigga hell of time. I'm, I'm sure, sure Jason Williams called because whoever. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm, saying, shot no, but I'm saying. Guys like that, though, don't say it. Yeah. Shout out to Jeff. That's the homie. Like, Jeff is, has a black wife. All his homies, all of us, black. Jeff never said nigga. Like, yeah. you don't. I think the ones who said. I don't know what that nigga said. <laughs> it's not part <laughs> of what he did. It's not part of his. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, if, if those people, like, like I said, like Paul Wall or. Eminem, who are like gatekeepers to that shit, especially M, like for Beastie Boys, mm. like they're gatekeepers for white rap. Like right. if they don't know, like y'all kind of follow suit, right? Well, first off, Eminem got song saying that, uh, right? But when he got on, he relaxed. No, he got the Dre. I mean, he he said it on the Marshall Mathers LP, and Dre like scratched oh, yeah. that shit. Yeah. But then the then, songs, was, uh, oh, so. Actually, so that was when uh, Drake Malt lick it or fuck you up quicker than you yeah. fuck. Did he actually say that? Did he purposely leave that blank? Dr. 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 Drake, Drake that out? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't know yeah. that either. Yeah. 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 Mystery. Yeah. And then um, there's like, remember them songs surfaced of him calling right. a black woman? Black bitch. Or yeah. Vintage to a nigga. I said, he really is black. <laughs> <laughs> Nappy head black bitches <laughs> fucking with a real nigga. Hey, that's what happened with Imus. The nappy head hoe shit. Got that nigga the fuck up out of you. See, but all that I don't happens, like when white people use All that nappy. happens is no, like, I'm just still popping. I just got to say, you know what I'm saying? I don't but like no nappy shit. Have you ever noticed, like, I don't know what the only album is still. That makes me. People like, like, Paul Wall never cusses. If you listen to Paul yeah. Wall's first album, yeah. Paul Wall said, was it one cuss word? That shit was a little weird. He don't use a lot of words. Right, that's what I'm saying, but that's part of his vocabulary. But you listen to. I think he said motherfucker once on that whole album. That shit is crazy, but go ahead. I don't know if I can go back and listen to albums challenge you. Nah, there's some hard it's shit. It's crazy how certain albums, like, it'd be a soundtrack of shit you were a part of in your life, but there's no way I'm revisiting. G-Code. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't listen. Like, I was fucking with, uh, uh, what's, what's the tall dude's name? Slim Thug. I was fucking with Slim Thug. I was getting some heat. I was like, he's kind of like, kind of co-signing Kanye a little bit. Mm. Right I was, I was fucking with Slim Thug. And I was fucking with Paul Wall, but I couldn't. I I know I couldn't get there today. Nah, there's yeah. there's heat on there. Really? Yeah. Got flex. That shit is still hard. I gotta go. I, I, like, I, like I never heard it when it was supposed to be good. That, that Houston I, movement was I, dope I, for a minute. That album was hard. Flippo was the nicest. How many exactly songs to this day are better than Still Tipping? Not, Not too gonna, many. Yo, this is gonna be short yeah, as fuck. Yeah, still. Oh, I'm gonna listen now when I get in the car. Still Tipping. Oh, still Tipping is crazy. Man. That should be crazy. Even now, 200 years from now. Is that the. Something in Popo's <laughs> yeah. chopped yeah. and screwed. Yeah. Okay, that the girl shit was dope for something a in po- I don't know. <laughs> the girl was on the yeah. lawn just moving. I was like, what and is I, this? I remember I used to want eighty four is hella bad. Oh, wall, let them I used to want eighty four is hella bad. <laughs> I still want some eighty four. That would be hard. <laughs> What's eighty four? Yeah, the the, okay. the 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 cap. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought Rondo was on the Kings. That was three chains ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was last year, wasn't it? No. Oh. Chicago, Rondo was on the King last year. Chicago last year. Oh, right. Shout out to okay. Rondo. I heard he's playing with too. <laughs> no, I heard he's playing with Paul and the Pelicans. Yeah, yeah, Paul Wall was hard. Paul Wall was hard. <laughs> I had an Al Jeers t shirt. I bought one. Yeah, yeah so did I. Yeah, we both have one. Yeah, we both have one. I had one. That shit was the trash too. So, is it okay for white kids to say nigga? And people can say whatever the fuck they want to say. It's freedom of speech, not freedom of consciousness. I might not give a shit, but some other black person might slap the shit out of you, and you gotta be okay with that. I, you know what I'm like? Fair rule of thumb. But, but, this is, but this is my thing, even because even like like older black generation will say like, "Don't we shouldn't say it. like black people." I think that's fair. I think that's a real valid argument. But, but, but this is my thing with that nigga. Yo, yo, Rondo, the one thing I don't like is. Try to appreciate like, do you know what a word came from? Yes, we know what a word came from. Yeah, yeah, we know. I hate that shit. Yeah, yes, you 77 year old ass nigga, bro. I know where the fuck the word came from, bro. You know what's good? This, 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 this 77 year old nigga, this nigga's disrespecting. No, this is, I mean, hey, it's a blessing you 77. That's what I'm trying to get. But, you know, it's, it's, um, because it'd be funny. A lot of shit, even with rap and all that, like, we're just the first generation to publicly speak how we speak. You think, yeah. you think I learned how nigga from, 
Ice Cube. Right. I learned from my fucking dad. Right. Like, like, right. Exactly. Like, I learned from my uncles. Like, yeah. I didn't learn it from. This is hard. Like, yeah, this, like is, this. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, whole this, conversations. This is how we talk. Like, just because we put on a record now, it's a problem. Like, there's a bunch of shit that the hip hop generation does, and says all we do is learn from the old niggas. Like, right. all it is. Like. So, so, so it, it, they get on a high horse about. But do you shit. think? I, well, I, I, I understand though. I, I understand, like, because I do think that I don't mind the conversation of should the word nigga be used. Yeah, David Ruffin is no different than Ti. Right. Like, no fucking difference. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is the same ass nigga, bro. James Brown, Chris Brown, no difference. Dancing ass, crazy niggas, bro. There's no difference. Right. Like so, social like, media, IG. Yeah, like let's say James Brown's IG would be crazy. Yeah, like, like <laughs> Bob Marley and fucking. Wiz Khalifa, like they're, mm. they're fucking the same guy. Like, yikes! It's not I me. Mean, you know I know what you mean. Like. <laughs> Come on, man. I ain't gonna fight Bob like that. I'm not, you know what I mean, but anyway, but it's the same shit. Like we, these older generations, they get real haughty about they fucking shit. I'm like, like Turner, they, what the fuck? Like that's what you're <laughs> trying to compare to Dr. Dre, like the same guy. Yeah. Then we make music and do wild shit they shouldn't be doing. Like there's no difference. What did I do? Who else fucking talk? <laughs> Ike Turner was blackballed and set up by the industry. <laughs> Ike Turner was an amazing, sure. amazing no, he was. talent. And then that's what's crazy is um, Ike, Ike has done so much musically, but we talked about it in detail. Because they made, love got the they made that bullshit movie and made him look like he that was just was a awesome. fucking That movie was awesome. You met him? Yeah. Well, I lived in, I lived, we lived in L.A. and Lance. Like, oh, I, I, um, <laughs> Ike Turner. <laughs> <laughs> they be fucking up niggas' legacy. Like, yeah, because he is a legend. He you is a legend. Watch that movie again and be like, "That's what he was doing." A lot of niggas do that. Uh, he nah, he. What bro. song? Like, he made that, a song. I mean, you. I mean, it's I, mean I think that's what he was doing. But I think there's another side to the story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's still I a legend. They, I think they. But they do that to shit. everybody. No, fault and shit is not the same <laughs> as don't die. If you die, bitch, I kill you. Like. That's that's what he was saying. To we him. know he yeah. didn't say it. I mean, how would well, she remember? Like, the important but thing that she probably don't remember that. The she was beat. She that was. Movie. She almost know. died. I want to know. That's what context. you don't remember. He was in the ambulance. I think somebody wrote that part. I want to know. <laughs> he really shook her hand like that. That's the illest shit I've ever seen. Which in my life. one part? When he's like, uh, like when after she hey, after he did the you, you, you did good. You did good. And he had a hand belt. That is the hardest shit I've ever seen in my life. I she had you. on a fishnet whole one piece. I want that. Bro, how do you shake your wife's hand, my nigga? That is the, that's that's the hardest shit ever. They good. No, 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 no. Like, I don't don't know, nine to me. You, know, you did good. Shit, I mean, I think that's the industry. So I'm saying, man. We'll read the Ike Turner story. I mean, but if you. Uh, I, I we'll, mean, but we'll, I. We'll read the Jackie Wilson story. I can't right? break There's a bunch of these stories. Yeah. I don't yes. think it's. This is the thing, man, because it's, it's a culture. Um, This is one thing that too much except by Michael Jackson's death, because he spoke about this too, about how black. Entertainers end up. Yeah. You know, these niggas have to perform for hell of a Niggas be, don't want to do it no more. Old, tired, but they're dying on stage. Like people say, like Sammy Davis was owned by the mob and shit. Yeah, oh like, my gosh, it's, I it's know. It's fucked up. Like, the, I mean, these are the biggest, well, influential people's world scene, like in modern scary. Yeah, like, you know what? To, even, what to even to go credit, I mean, because I think black artists too, but white artists, the same thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them. So, yeah, I think the minute that's the end. And black people, they gave us tax problems. They still be doing that shit. But they gave all, all, like, from your favorite fighters to your favorite entertainers, none of them niggas pay taxes. Like, yeah. they, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. coincidence, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, Sugar crazy. Ray didn't pay his taxes, and neither did Red Fox, and neither, right. you know, you're like, damn, niggas. So we just don't know how to pay taxes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who is their accountant? Things. Sammy Davis. Like, Jewish West people? Chris Tucker. Yeah. Right, they always fuck. Dame, shout out to Dame. Yeah. Dame paid his taxes. Yeah, it's a, it's a, but also, I forgot who said this recently, but it was true as fuck. Like, music industry is designed not for you to have any money. It's not designed that way. Who said it was? So you keep working. Right, so it's like, you can, like, make movies, and the movie's just there. Like, you don't have to do nothing else with it. You put it out and you promote it, and that's it. But, right, like, you're saying, you still have to keep performing the right. album and the song. Like, you have to keep right. doing that. Otherwise, there's nothing else. Yeah. And so the way the music industry is designed is not designed for you to fucking stay rich. Yeah. So you really have to be some other shit. You got to be like Jay and have to have other kind of mind right. to really. They said the movie people like laugh at like the music people like yeah, like they're like little brothers like yeah. y'all ain't no money in this shit. Yeah. This is we y'all mm. ain't making, y'all ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Because. And compare whoever your favorite artist is to somebody's movie budget, yeah. and it's not even. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not even. So you, they feel like music's dealing with it. A record deal is 
stretch of the deal like they get at Game of Thrones. Like, right. Yeah. It's not even pennies. Yeah. yeah. Some was it um Gangsta Lean? Didn't they only make like twelve cents? <laughs> God damn, That's I don't know what that with the gangsta lean. Oh, oh, <laughs> are y'all are y'all, are y'all all see Superfly? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll see that. I'm here for that. I know you want to see that show. What? Superfly. Superfly? I didn't even know. That's a, you know that's a movie. Who's going to be? Yeah. Who, who, who's? Trevor Jackson. Me? What? The kid from uh, Blackish. I mean, uh, I mean Tom Grownish. Are we doing Superfly? From huh? Grownish? Are we doing Johnny Cage the Grownish? I haven't seen that. Like a show or a movie? movie. They're like, redoing like the original it. Original Superfly, like Superfly. Ron O'Neill. What? Yeah, are you kidding me? I don't want to see that bullshit. The future's doing the soundtrack. What? That's going to be good. That should look good. I good. like Trevor. Have y'all seen the original Superfly? Yeah. Like, with my parents years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Not I yep, that name. soundtrack, Curtis Mayfield. The only. I mean, I'm, the soundtrack yeah. is one of his. I mean, it's I listen to the soundtrack all the time, but I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, we don't need that shit. But if the, I don't so they redid the, the math. Oh, no, right. they can't redo the math. It's the same type They can't of redo the math, though. That's what it sounds like. But the Mac is different than Superfly to me. I think Superfly made it way bigger than the Mac did. Do you guys like like the black sports? It went a little. Films? I do. do like, like what movie? Pam like, Greer like, and all like, the. Like Superfly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who was I watched more than Coco. Coco. What's it? Was it, it, was it yeah, Coco like, Coffee Brown? Brown. Coffee Brown. I watched the Mac. Get you something. I watched the Mac. I'm gonna get you something. Like, like, I, I watched the Mac way more than I'm supposed to. The Mac is good though. Like I watched the Mac. Often. Dolomite. Like often. You know what I mean? It's like. Richard Pryor, and he was like all improv and oh, shit. Yeah. He was high as fuck improv. Yeah. 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 The Mac is the shit. You like the, the Mac? The Mac is good. I, I got that at home. Good. You want to see the Mac? Yeah, yeah. nah. I, yeah, I'm going to let you borrow it. I'm going to tell you I remember it, so I don't even yeah. want to say nothing. But the Mac I is the shit. Like, but it's, 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 um, I ain't, I'm not a quiet taste, but it's, it's some yeah, the Black, shit. Yeah, the Black, like, I don't really, I've seen the Black Sportation films, and they, I, they're cool. That's not really my. Still you know what was dope? They did the uh, in the BMOC group. They did like fifty black movies in they, that list. Yeah. And I was hella like, nigga, I'm out here. I think I saw like thirty eight of them. No, <laughs> I was like, uh, no, uh, it might have been that. I think it was twenty eight, but it was hard though. I was like, nigga, I haven't seen like see some Boy. Tyler Tyler Perry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't watched Tyler Perry. <laughs> he, he was in there too, and I was like, oh. Yeah, I Yes, no, I, I I saw why did I get married one and two. I yeah. saw why did I get married. You know, on TBS. why did I get married two with one of the most outlandish. Shit. That shit was terrible. That's just some of the most oh, outlandish shit I've ever the seen. The family that prays is good. Which one's the dad that was a sing little girl? That one dad was all right. Little girl. That one was all right, but that was very that moving. That was just red, like Medea. Why did I get married? What I can't is that? stand Medea. That's where Janet. Yeah, oh, when Janet was acting, oh, she just looked bad. Why did I get married? It's pretty good. The first, the first one was pretty good. The second one, she was looking bad, right? The second one was some bullshit. Oh, you know what I watched last night? Mm-hmm. You brought me think of you. The wife? Yeah. What? 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 That is what? like my. That shit was boring. It's not, a, it's not a movie. It's a show. Did you watch the first season? No. I, I you caught, have to watch the first I season caught, first. I caught, I caught uh, my wife like, I'm going to go watch you. I'm like, well, let me watch what you do. I'm like, I'm on the show. Like, yeah. What is it? Please, yeah, dear yeah. white people. Do we have our show though? We watch together. Oh, dear white people. I can't get mm-hmm. into on Netflix. I said, we try to see this show. Like, yeah, I'm out. What you gotta it? watch the it's first tr- season what is though. It about? It's some black shit. If you're yeah. into like different world, it's like that. It's a group of different world is great. Yeah, it's you a know what I've been watching group of college kids. Living single, living single. Living good. single is so funny. I like living single. Oh, man, that's like I one of the hardest shows. Do you like living single? I used to watch it. I wouldn't watch it now. I don't Sinclair think. And I was watching the Cosby's today. How the fuck did you like the Cosby's? I never grew up watching it. Cosby's. Ain't about like but it. you never even came back. You never came back to it? That wow. show was fucking great. I was watching that shit today in tears. I, I, t- I told you I, I know. Was, Bill was crazy. I told you I, I, worked, show. I worked with, uh, with uh, John Hinton. Leo? Hinton. John Hinton. No, that's Overton on oh, Living Single. A, you know he's a stand-up. Who, Overton? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's originally a stand-up. Is he good? Idiot. His original is there. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's kind of one of those situations Overton, to where it's like, terrible, man. it's like the time. Obi. Like it's time. I'll never hear no um, It's good, man. It's, it's living like single? A, Are you crazy? You know about Maxine Shaw? Yeah, I've heard Maxine name. Shaw? Being alive, I heard Pam name. from did, the did, Cosby did Show? Like a Different World? Different World's cool. Oh my God, that's like one of my favorite. Their world is cool. I, you know what? I, I didn't. That was one thing I didn't catch the way when it first came out like that. So revisiting it is no, it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. But, but I, don't do I haven't seen every episode. Oh my God, I have. Single. 
Well, no, definitely world. not the lyrical single, but I there's just only two watching. six. I don't watch a lot of nothing. I, shit, I used to watch when I was younger. I don't watch. A lot so, of what if niggas seen the every? Only, what show have niggas seen every episode of? Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. I've seen every. I've never. I've never Martin. not seen the Cosby. Fresh Prince. Mars. Martin. Saved by the Bell. Over Martin. and over again. Saved, Saved, by, the, Saved by, by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. Sanford and Son. I don't think I've seen I every seen Sanford and Son. Good times. I've seen every seen single, single episode of that. On the family. I feel like it. I feel like I'm pretty close, but I'm not sure. On the family. Andy Griffith, everyone up to Barney. Everyone Barney was in I love yeah. Lucy for me. I haven't um, seen every Lucy. I love Lucy. She's, She's crazy. crazy. Steve Harvey show. I mean, Steve Harvey show. Probably. I've seen every Full House. Yeah, I've seen every Full House. Every Family Matters. Yes, me King too. Queens. Every King of Queens 30 times. All that. Every... Dawson's Creek. Why y'all get that? Dawson's Creek had still one of the hardest. Oh, my oh, Seventh Heaven. I saw every episode of Seventh oh, Heaven. Oh, no. Seventh Heaven was hard. And that daddy is a pervert. No, man. That's why ain't he getting heart. none done to him? Seventh oh. Heaven's still on? Seventh Heaven don't come on nowhere. It comes, yeah, it comes on, on a free form or something. Oh, yeah, Hallmark or some shit? Yeah, Hallmark or something like that. Huh? I was there every episode of Blackish. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some Bill Cosby jokes that are phenomenal right now. It is. No, but <laughs> come to a show, you're going to hear. I'm still okay. working them out. Are the they going to be controversial? Or are they be Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, you know, what I, know, know, you know what I noticed in your last show? show? Tell me if this is new. You say nigga now. Was that con- not? Uh, not as much. Nah, like this nigga was, ni- was niggaing it up last show. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, 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 nigga. I was offended. <laughs> I no, but I—I I, I mean, because yeah, I'm sure you said it, because I'm sure you wouldn't exit out your vocabulary. Yeah. But you definitely didn't say it, like nah, you I know used, what I'm saying. I used to. Um, I had a conversation with a comic a while ago, and uh, it was like, "Do you want to say nigga at a show for white people? Because then you get mad if they said." And I was like, "Yeah, fuck this nigga." Like, and so that was that. Like, I don't remember. Like, for me, it was like noticeable. Like, oh, and not even that you were just saying nigga overly, but it's just like, I, I don't well, see, that's what, really that, that goes into the conversation we had before about unapolog- unapologetically black. I don't know if you had that conversation. I think it was, yeah, was talking about on Twitter one time, too. Like, so I don't think anybody, JC was like, does anybody um, apologetically be black? And I think we do subconsciously. So, for instance, like, you might have done this. I have a conversation with my wife. She'll be like, I don't want to, like, she has braids at the moment. She'll be like, yo, does this look too ethnic? Who gives a fuck if it looks too ethnic? Why do you, that's, that's crazy. You I know just, I don't be I doing just, that. Don't, don't, don't you know say, I don't care. I wish somebody would ask right, me. Right, but that's what I'm saying, but a lot of people do that. They be like, yo, <laughs> no, that's crazy. I get, or, or, or even that. Like, why do, my do, best friend did that? Say, or do you want to edit saying, how much you say nigga or whatever? That's. I just like, had a conversation with my wife because my nephew's growing dreads. Yeah. And she brought up, like, profiles. That's well, that, me, I'm like, that's what I've done with you know, Adrian. For me, that can't, I can't, I, cause I, I think I have, I said this before I even had kids. There's, I'm not doing nothing that would, to conform to this shit. Right. Yeah, like, I, like, I'm so that, 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 that can't be, that can't that's be. Just be <laughs> that's just naps. Anything to do with it. Shut up. <laughs> I don't like that. I feel like, so I feel like that's where unapologetically comes in because even if, I think sometimes you, you don't want to say something. For whatever reason, I feel like we have to dumb, like, no, because nobody should have to do anything. But, like, say it's someone who's from the Arab world and they wear, what is it, hijab, I think yeah. it's called? They should wear it. There's no reason they should not yeah, wear it. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's their culture. Like, they, nobody should have to, if you, if you are a Rasta and you want to wear your dress down here, that's what you do. Like, you shouldn't have to, I don't feel like, I feel like black people always feel like, well, is my music too loud? Nah, nah, listen to my shit loud. Well, no, that's tough, though, because we're at, so, or just this what I, or this what I used to when I was young, when I would see, and I kind of, but this happened. When I was young, if I would see, like, white people, I would turn my music up. Yeah, I used to do that. Oh, no. Get this. Shit up. When, when, you young. when you a white woman that, comes uh, in the elevator. I'm in the parking lot at the grocery store, and I'm parking lot cruising. Like, nah, turn, turn that, music, turn that, turn that T.I. shit up. Like, yeah. but now I don't do that. I actually turn it down. But that's because of cussing and stuff. When a white so woman kind of will right. come in the elevator, I would tuck my purse. I would be like... <laughs> you know, I just for me. like That's yeah hard. because I mean like you're not <laughs> y'all be stealing y'all do like well no uh, stealing isn't cultural stealing is a person but they make it seem like school. but I don't like the way they <laughs> we still on our way. no because I had a conversation too with somebody um, saying that black people and Mexicans are the only ones who really use EBT or welfare and 
statistics <laughs> show that it's a lot of white women who get welfare. <laughs> Who you be talking to? People, I'm telling you. Uh, no, I do. I could see people saying something. Yeah, and, but like they. That. Yeah, it is. It's a very like ignorant that. statement, and I have to. Like, like right now, them. like I, I um, I um, EBT. volunteer lit. <laughs> well, I said EBT. I'm welfare. I um, I work at a um, on my, on my free time, I, I volunteer at a um, a horse racing rest points with the. No, nah, listen. So, but. The so point is, when I, 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 I love horses, right? I'm always the only nigga around. Why always. You, why you ain't volunteering at a basketball court? So. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is crazy. Like, but I would never, like, I don't go up there and listen to some different movies. I don't go, I don't dress. Yeah. I'm not doing none of that. Like, yeah, you're not going to. But I don't look like, oh, I can fit in with these. Transform like, yourself like, they wear into cowboy a boots Carlton. And that's, fine. that's great. I'm wearing pennies. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing that. Like, it's, um. Yeah. But I think I feel like sometimes we probably have to conform because it's yeah. shit. I'm not doing that shit, bro. Like this is what the fuck I am. Like, like, and, and if it makes them uncomfortable, then, then they oh, should probably well, just be uncomfortable. I had a black Panther really shirt on the other day, and well, I had a black sh- a Panther shirt on, and my homeboy had on a, I don't know, but it had a fist on it, yeah. you know. And they were like, "Why are you guys both wearing your black forever. power stuff?" And I was like, "Cause we want to." I they was like, "Did you plan it?" Yeah. No, we didn't plan it. Tomorrow I might wear another black panther. Just to, <laughs> right. like, don't test me. Yeah. But I did have an experience I want to share with you guys. Um, sure. You know, it's me and another. And rapper's coming. Who is it? No, no. no. <laughs> it was at work. It was a. Um, I'm the only black woman on my team, and there's a black guy who's on my team, which who is one of my good, really good friends. But um, another team with the black girl on it, they made some food basically, and they came and brought us some food. And the two white ladies that I said, my coworkers, were sitting across from me, and they were like, "Why didn't she bring us any food?" They brought you some chili. Or something? No, it was like <laughs> it was pudding with. It, they, I guess they call it for Earth Day was some dirty pudding or whatever. I don't know. It was pudding they, and they Oreo. Girl, and try this. She was like, "Here, girl," and I was like, "Oh, thank you." That's you know, and I start eating it, and they were oh, like, yeah. "I think it's funny how Sherelle, because I don't eat everybody's food, it's funny how Sherelle is Black eating her food." <laughs> <laughs> we don't need everybody's food. Yeah, she's wondering. Right. You want to say nitty up on that rule too? A lot of shit that goes in. Yeah, I'm like questioning. I don't eat that. But they were you like, you went hands. and you ate her food, and you don't even know. I said, well, I speak to her every day, so you know, we kind of like, you know, you have, have a, a yeah, we have a bond. Like, well, I think it's only because you're black, and I said, and I said, if so, what? If it's because I'm black, she gave me some food, and I have to will myself in because I'm like. But why does it matter? Welcome to my world. I said, you guys do some rude stuff all day, every day, and I just don't call you out on it. But you guys are calling me out on this, yeah. on some food? Yeah. Ask her. Go yeah. up to her and speak to her. You guys don't even speak to her. I do every day. The but good. the pudding was good. That is a great question. It was good. <laughs> pudding is trash. But my thing <laughs> is, general. tap... Welcome no, to my well, welcome to my world is what I'm trying to explain because yeah. you guys feel like outsiders... I feel like an outsider every single day, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and she just made me feel comfortable. Yeah. So when it, I think I, I don't know if you watched that Instagram video where the guy was saying a, a white girl had asked this guy yeah, yeah, yeah. about That's the true. word nigga. And he said, you know, I think it's, I think it's um, something that you guys want to use because it's, you feel like it's yours. You guys made it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you guys are the one who said, you know, y'all niggas, and then we change this, so you guys want to use it, but, you know, you can't, and welcome to our world. Yeah. You know, it's just something that you find, you you can't do it, so yeah. welcome anything, to anything what we kind of, go through every day. I think it's the idea of forbidden fruit. It's forbidden like, fruit. You know, and so everything, like, you know, so people always tell like, watch people get out, like, nigga, 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 like, yeah, get, get, get it out. Nigga, like, nigga, yeah. nigga, 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 nigga. <laughs> just to get that off, like, no, that shit is hard, man, you gotta relax. So you said you had a game four today. Yeah. So like like the um, so talk about the Met Gala, right? So like in hip hop, like I feel like you know, like so we we feel like we are big influencers and shit. So in a part a big part of hip hop is the look and everything with it. So who's your game four? Like you think influences, like fashion wise, everything you know in hip hop, um, or just it could be outside of hip hop, just whatever. Right. Or for you personally, who you think like yeah, that shit is. I, I, so for me, I think in recent time, I think people talk about how like how Kanye pushed the envelope and how 
like freshen out the box and shit he does is I think that was about Pharrell. Yeah. I think oh, Pharrell yeah. does the dopest shit. I think Pharrell, if I had to pick one person for the last 20 years, to me who's like the dopest, the, like to me one of the dopest representations of the black culture, the hip hop culture, and most talented, for me it's Pharrell. Yeah. I think Pharrell's like the dopest. And actor. bridging that gap. Right, exactly. So yeah. for me, I think Pharrell, the Pharrell shit. I think Pharrell's everything that we say Kanye is. Right. right. So for Pharrell would be one. It is like, like even my like Adidas, Pharrell's shoes are way iller than all the Yeezys. Yeah. Mm. Like the H shoes, like this shit's fucking crazy, bro. Like these, like way iller. Like, Pharrell has like, always been that yeah. guy, though. Um, you know, influence wise, Kanye's Kanye. That happened. You know what I'm saying? We're and rocking I, the and collars And what I give up. Kanye credit for is. He's done it in some ways, and I'm not even talking about this most recent year. I'm talking about even before that. In some ways that you be like, oh, that's kind of weird. But Kanye, you go to his concert, there's 16-year-olds there. That doesn't happen for 40-somethings. Mm-hmm. Right. Kanye's 40. And Jay-Z concert was a bunch of old niggas. Right, so Kanye, Kanye found a way to get not only us who the generation, because it's normally like if you're 40, the 34-year-old is listening to you, 32. Mm-hmm. He's like not 18, like I said, the 16 year olds from South Dakota, right? Yeah. So Kanye, I mean, he did that. You can't take that away. Jay, obvious for a well, ton of But Well, because there's a lot of shit going on with, <laughs> you know, a lot of shit going on with. with but is, are they, what, are they there because they like Kanye or are they there because they like Kardashian? I think hella different reasons. Mm. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Slavery was a choice. Go ahead. <laughs> and then last. <laughs> Last, I would probably say somebody older. Like, I'd probably say Rakim because I think Why are you like father this? all the whole shit. Who you know? raised you? Rakim. I was raised by wolves. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know. So, what you saying? Who's the most influential <laughs> people in hip hop? Uh, fashion wise. Style, culture yeah. wise. Culture. You, it could be for the old, or just for you personally. Or just overall. Um. I mean, I, I think Tupac's the most influential person in hip hop yeah. that hip hop has had. Right, I agree. I, 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 that it's, was almost as far, as, far as a just a pre, like a person, like a presence. Yeah. I agree, he's number one. Um, but I mean, Jay Z's mad influential. Russell Simmons, mad influential. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, that old Cool J. Run D M C. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Mad influential. Got his name by people. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. To be a rapper, you have to have a stomach tatted. Well, Cisco has a stomach tatted. And Tyree, so. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, guy from Cisco. Black tie. tie. Black tie? He's a rapper. Yeah. Oh, okay. You never heard the black tie album? Mm-hmm. He's actually rapping on it. You see that video of him and Scotty Pippen dancing in the studio of Arkell? Holy smokes. Shout out to Scotty! Thank you. I don't fuck with Scotty, bro. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, Scotty got a white one. Too. <laughs> yeah, Scotty definitely got a white one. She's, <laughs> she's, she's, yeah, she's, she's not white. She's not black. You guys always, I don't, you know, yeah, she's just not black. She's not white, though. <laughs> I don't care anyway. I just, you, know what's you, guys are rude. you guys are rude. I was like, one, real quick, like, I'm going to tell you earlier, too. I, I, went out, I went out with one white girl mm-hmm. in my life. Was it a blast? Everything you thought it would be? Did you feel like you made it? I think you no. told me about that. She was crazy. Years ago. It was crazy. So I got a number. She was, she was a, uh, uh, this is when I was in Maryland, and she worked at Chick Fil A. She was hella cute right at the. That sounds good. At the um, the one window girl at Chick Fil A. No, Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> White women and chicken. Morgan, hey, Morgan, nigga. Morgan hey. Freeman. Like, yeah. <laughs> you get like, on my nerves. I was like, uh, so I was like, so I said some shit to her, like, get your number one. She's like, no, I'm gonna give you mine. No, she said, give me yours. And she literally texted me like five minutes later. And you, and you listened to her? Yeah, she texted me. He's always obeying these white people. Go ahead. <laughs> See? So that was my first fuck up. But she texted me like a couple minutes later. She's like, yeah, let's, whatever. So we went to the window to see the hangover. And it was crazy. I was like, such a bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> hangover is trash. That's Never seen it. Hangover is incredible. Um, I felt hella weird, bro. I felt like everybody was looking at me. Yeah, of I, course. Yeah, I, I felt like everybody, and it seemed one. like there was hella bad black chicks there. Well, like, hey, and it wasn't, like, no, I, 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 I agree. There probably no, no, I, I think people might have been. And they might have, I don't get your happy I, I felt like that. I felt like <laughs> best like, black women, we always look. It don't matter. <laughs> don't let these angry black women <laughs> stop you from being happy. Well, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, that's how, I felt hella uncomfortable. At least you were in the movie theater. Dark. It was dark. Yeah, it was no, no, did you get some free chicken? 
That got to stay the plug. Right. Did you get the chicken? That had to have stayed the plug. Ah. Oh, she scared you that much. Yeah, I didn't, the I didn't, I didn't, and you paid for the movie? I didn't like that shit at all. Come on now. I didn't like that shit. <laughs> I didn't know there were Chick-fil-A's in Maryland. Or white people. Was that Method That's Man? Fat. That nigga was in uh, yeah, No, it wasn't. I was, uh, where I work at? It was like Comcast. Was nigga was in Annapolis, Maryland. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, but you're getting four out there. Um, I think I'm gonna do fashion if that's okay. Um, and cool, bro. I think as far as fashion goes, are you gonna incorporate women? Yeah, of course. You um, gonna say Janet Jackson? I wasn't gonna say Janet actually, but Janet is good. <coughs> um, I was gonna say Heavy D for for the heavy sets. Yeah, heavy D, shout out to Heavy D. Heavy yeah. D, rest in peace. Um, that nigga's dancing. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Oh, that's who made To answer your question last week, that's who made the beat, the uh, Capella Mayor beat, Heavy D made that beat. Heavy D made that? Yeah. Oh, I got to yeah. My favorite listen song to that in the car. On, my favorite, favorite, favorite song already died is Machine Gun Song. Guns N' Roses on YouTube. Heavy. Caitlyn. What? Caitlyn Jenner. No, not for me. Oh, Maybe okay. for you. <laughs> Okay, I'm already done. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't really throw nothing saying. out there. <laughs> um, I was going to say Michael Jordan, but we ain't fucking with him right now. No, but Michael Jackson. LeBron's better. It's heavy. Fashion, I, and I'm speaking fashion-wise. Um, I think... Um, ooh. I mean, because I don't want to say Beyonce. I just... Because to me, I don't necessarily dress like Beyonce. I don't get anything from her fashion wise. Do you think more bigger than Rihanna's? I think Rihanna's I think so. is to me, yeah, I think Rihanna is right way bigger than Beyonce. Yeah, Rihanna, Rihanna got that. You know, because I can just look at something she has on, I'm like, I'm about to put that mm -hmm. together. It just seems easy. And you know who else I think it is is and I I'm gonna say Tiana Taylor. You know, yeah, to me, she's one. a big influence. I think Tiana Taylor's very good. I mean, this whole outfit inspired Tiana. Yeah, Shout out to Tiana, Tiana Taylor. Taylor. I think that's a great pick. Yeah. Bricks. Um, Rondo made I'll say Puff. Absolutely. Yes, Bricks. yes. Uh, you know, the whole idea of, like, the whole era, like, I'm going to say Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> Oh, my bad. What? No, don't be 50. Don't be 50 cents. <laughs> well, I I didn't make Puff Get Richard Dye <laughs> That was uh, all his choice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Shut up. Uh, that's a black one. So, um, yeah. like, just the whole, him ushering that whole area. Respect in, like, too. Good or bad, the whole shiny suit shit. Like, yeah, Puff, Puff, oh, yeah. Puff, added, Puff added the fly to this yeah. shit. Like, I wanted Puff, to add Puff. Like, Man, Puff, I wanted to add him. You know, he changed, like, everybody went, like, Jay and Nick, Jay and Daniel doing shit they had no business doing. He because influenced Puff, Buster Rhymes. Buster, he, Buster Oldham. He, like, he really did. Like, big. I mean, Puff was a... Major key. Um, Jay uh, is culturally and for me personally, like, Jay's up there, like, very high, like... With all black? Yeah, like, everything. Like, the nigga Jay just... One of the, like, I remember my mom, like, I remember my mom said something. My dad, too, but one of them. My dad, my mom was like, one thing that makes your dad cool is he could wear, like, just a regular sweatsuit and just make that shit look way more than what it is. Right. Mm. And, I, and I was like, damn, that's crazy. I thought about this, I was like 12 years old. And right. I kept that in my head always. So my pops could like, they had some ill, like Jamal Mashburn sneaking at the time, or somebody like that, some ill feelers. But this is a sweatsuit, like black. Mm -hmm. Clean ass hat, bent, socks hat, lit. Like, and, that, and that kind of shit like always influenced with me. And so Jay has that same kind of aesthetic. Like Jay can have like a black tee, black jeans, so white True. Rockefeller Air Force One, you fresh and all you niggas in that corny Gucci shit, like right. and it's fit me way ill of me. Like it's changed the city perfect, like and so that, I think that to be able to do that is a is a you know, everybody don't have that. And um to me the most uh, on my third one, Michael Jackson. Uh, I think that Mike's one of the first niggas ever. I feel like, like we should have left Michael out. Yeah, at least, at least, you know, yeah, take, I take Mike out, yeah. when I take Mike out for my dad there. Okay. For my dad. Uh, like what I was saying before, that was, that was sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's touching. Yeah. Me and Trev used to, uh, like, we, me and Trev, we love hats. Me and my, me and Trev used to go in my dad's closet when he wasn't home. And my dad's hat <laughs> was crazy. 
She was always bent perfectly, yeah. had a perfect bend. I remember he had a title in his hat. He had a title in his hat. That shit was hard. They like, said black people have dads. <laughs> Can't speak for all you niggas, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, that title's had that funny. Yeah. And always, the Giants had always had a ton of sock shit. A ton of sock shit. So if I wear socks, I got socks that's only because of my dad. Yeah. Um, so my pop. And I was thinking of calling our, because we're about to start a, a, a softball. I'm about to start a softball. Well, anyway, I was going to call the black side. Yeah, definitely. Can I, can I join? Black side. It's not color. <sighs> Damn, he's sexist, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you so playing? So sexist. Sure, yeah. You going to hobble around? I'm in, I'm in. Your knee's good, you good. Yeah. I'll never support y'all right. niggas again. <laughs> I think the most underrated, and I've always been the champion of them, is Diplomats. Facts. I knew Dips was coming. I think uh, that's a great answer. You know, I felt like it was funny too. I seen today, like Joel, me and me had this conversation about the Supreme shit that came out with the, uh, the NBA shit. And it's not allowed, like, Dipset can get the, like, that's diplomats. Like, they made that way. Like, Kim had that on in the, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. let them know, but then I was 99. And they were like the first rapper to do work with Supreme. Rapper Supreme wasn't even anything. Yeah. So, when you, like, even to, like, Nick Young recently had a Cam shirt on coming to the arena, like, yeah. a couple games ago, like, the diplomat influence, as far as musically, like what they did with the South, the fashion wise, everything, like the rock star thing everybody was doing when niggas was wearing their jeans crazy. Jimmy Joel's like, nah, like we're gonna slim this shit up. And niggas was not on it at the time and laughing at them, but then everybody pants was. Mm. You know yeah, I mean, it points directly at them. The skull shit, yeah. when that was popping, it. it points directly at them. Like, there's nobody. That shit points directly at what the fuck the diplomats did. Yeah. Like, I, I don't even think there's another angle. Niggas was not wearing tight clothes until the diplomats. Was, there was no pink. There was none of that. Like, yeah. I remember, like. Now, nah, peace said, Kim got that from him. Yeah, he was going out. What's the, the dude, the designer from the 80s that was. Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. Yeah. Dapper Dan's a good one, too. Yeah. Dapper that's Dan, what Dapper I. Dan. Yeah. Dapper I don't even, even know. I didn't even. That's crazy how you listen to bars and you go back and understand. Yeah. When, they, when Jay was like, I don't need Dapper Dan. Yeah. yeah I was like, oh, they came like, back. I here, get right? it. But I didn't know they right. like. So that's what's cool about hip hop. You always find a new jam and understand what certain shit means that you didn't know when it first came out. Yeah. I didn't know Dapper Dan. Uh-huh. Diplomats, man. Like, they. Dude, you gotta give them their shit. Like, because a lot yeah. of things y'all do, man, y'all don't even realize. Like, yeah. Snoop Dogg was my influence back when I was younger. Smoked a lot of weed. I didn't smoke weed, I, but I thought I was a crip. Did think I was a crip. I thought <laughs> never been crib. jumped in. I grew up. Scotty <laughs> all right, cool. So that, that's all we got this week. It's time to wrap up. Jay's giving us the. That was good. It's time to go see my boo circle. <laughs> right. <laughs> you were <a> crip <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back at it next week game four next week Sean